I planned to surprise my husband at work with lunch, but instead found out he was on vacation. Confused and suspicious, I followed him the next day and uncovered a shocking secret at my sister's house. What I found left me questioning everything I thought I knew about my marriage and my family. I decided to surprise Ben at work with lunch last Tuesday. I'd spent the morning making his favorite dish, lasagna. With the kids at school, I had some time to myself, and I thought it'd be a sweet gesture. I mean, what husband wouldn't love a surprise visit from his wife with homemade food, right? When I arrived at his office, the receptionist gave me a puzzled look. You're here for Ben? She asked, glancing at the lasagna in my hands. Yeah, just wanted to bring him lunch. Is he in? She hesitated. Ben's been on vacation for the past two weeks. I stood there, stunned, trying to process what she'd said. Vacation. He'd told me he was working late all week. My stomach twisted, and I felt a cold sweat break out on my forehead. I thanked her and left. At home, I tried to make sense of it. Maybe it was a misunderstanding. But what kind of misunderstanding lasts two weeks? I couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong. So I did what any suspicious wife might do. I decided to follow him the next day. The next morning, I called Mom and asked her to take the kids for the day. I told her I had some errands to run. She was happy to help, oblivious to the turmoil brewing in my head. I then followed Ben to find out what was really going on. I watched as he left the house and got into his car, and I followed at a safe distance. He drove across town and pulled up to Kate's house, my sister's house. My mouth went dry as I watched him get out of the car. Kate came out, smiling warmly as she embraced him and led him inside. My mind went blank. Was Ben having an affair with my sister? I couldn't believe it. But what else could explain it? The pain of betrayal cut deep, and I felt tears welling up. I had to know for sure. I parked my car a few houses down from Kate's place and called Carla, my lawyer. She'd handled a few legal matters for us before, and I trusted her judgment. I told her everything, my voice trembling with anger and hurt. Julia, Carla said, her tone calm and professional. Before you jump to conclusions, gather some concrete evidence. It's important to be sure before taking any legal steps. I knew she was right. So I snuck over to Kate's house, lurking around like some sort of spy. I felt ridiculous, but I had to know the truth. I peered through a window, careful not to be seen. Inside, I saw Ben and Kate sitting at the kitchen table, huddled over lunch and a pile of papers. They looked serious, and every now and then they'd glance around, as if worried about being caught. What were they plotting? The more I watched, the more convinced I became that something was terribly wrong. It wasn't just an affair. They were planning something. I snapped a few photos with my phone, my hands shaking. I needed proof, something concrete to confront Ben with. My mind raced with all sorts of terrible scenarios. What were they up to? I went back to my car and called James. He picked up on the first ring. James, my brother-in-law, had always been the sensible one in the family. Married to Kate for nearly a decade, he was the calm, rational counterpoint to her more impulsive nature. He and Ben got along well, often bonding over their shared love of sports and grilling. I trusted James, and if anyone could help me make sense of this, it was him. James, it's Julia. I need to talk to you about Ben and Kate. There was a pause. Julia, calm down. What's going on? I think they are having an affair, I blurted out, my voice shaking. What should I do? James sighed. Julia, don't be ridiculous. They not cheating on you, I swear it. What makes you think that? I have my reasons, I replied. You'll see, I'll prove it, I snapped, and hurried back from my car to Kate's house my mind spinning with the betrayal. I crept back up to a window and peered through carefully. I was shocked to see James was there, inside with Ben and Kate. I could hear snippets of their conversation through the half-open window. Julia just called me, James said, sounding concerned. 
She's worried sick, thinks you two are having an affair. Ben nodded. So, she is unaware of everything. That's great, Kate replied, her tone filled with excitement. Our plan is working, Ben added. My heart shattered. I had heard enough. I barged into the house, my anger boiling over. You lying, cheating traitors! How could you do this to me? Kate and Ben looked at me, stunned. James stood up, trying to calm me down. Julia, please, let us explain. Explain what? That my husband is cheating on me with my sister? I screamed, tears streaming down my face. Julia, it's not what you think, Ben said softly, trying to calm me down. I took a vacation to work on a surprise for you. I laughed bitterly. A surprise? Meeting at Kate's house every day is a surprise? Yes, Ben said, his voice steady. I was planning to make your dream come true. You always talked about owning a coffee shop, right? I blinked, not understanding. What? Kate stepped forward, holding a stack of papers. Ben has been using his inheritance to buy a coffee shop for you. We've been working on the business plan and all the legal paperwork here. My anger started to wane, replaced by confusion and a glimmer of hope. A coffee shop? For me? Ben nodded, pulling out a folder and handing it to me. Look, these are the documents. The lease, the renovation plans, everything. I wanted it to be perfect before I told you. James and Kate are co-investors, so I wanted to make sure they are completely on board. I looked at the papers, the words blurring through my tears. It was all there, the proof of his love and dedication, the coffee shop I had always dreamed of. My knees buckled, and Ben caught me before I fell. Oh my goodness, Ben, I'm so sorry. I thought, I thought you were. I know, he said, hugging me tightly. I should have told you, but I wanted it to be a surprise. I wanted to see your face when I handed you the keys. I'm such an idiot, I sobbed into his chest. I'm so sorry. Shh, it's okay. I understand why you felt that way. But Julia, I love you. I would never betray you. I nodded, feeling the weight of my mistake. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for everything. The next day, we went to sign the final papers. The coffee shop was ours. I could hardly believe it. As I walked into the quaint little space, the smell of freshly baked goods already filling the air, I felt so joyful. Ben squeezed my hand. This is all for you, babe. I believe in you. I smiled, tears of happiness streaming down my face. I love you, love. Thank you for believing in me. We worked together, turning the coffee shop into something magical. It became a place where dreams were baked into reality, where love and trust were the secret ingredients in every recipe. Looking back, I realized how important trust and communication are in a relationship Misunderstandings can happen, but it's how we handle them that truly matters. As I stood in my coffee shop surrounded by the aroma of freshly baked goods, I felt grateful for Ben's unwavering love and support. We had faced a storm, and together we had come out stronger. To anyone out there who feels like their relationship is in trouble, sometimes all it takes is a little trust and a lot of love to see the truth behind the secrets. And sometimes, those secrets can turn into the most beautiful surprises of all.